guys welcome back to my channel it's me again Ange and for those who are new here I hope you've already clicked the subscribe button so today we're talking about something na palaging natatanong sa akin lagi ko tong nababasa sa comment section and I feel like ngayon lang ako nagkaroon ng time na sagutin to so here we are so today we'll be talking about flight attendant teeth requirements so when it comes to flight attendant requirements, ito yung isa sa mga pinaka tinitingnan and talagang visible din kasi siya eh, no? Talagang makikita mo siya agad-agad. And nababasa ko yung mga comments nyo, napakadami talagang tanong about teeth. Ito na, sasagutin na natin. Okay, so let's start with braces. Pwede ba or hindi pwede ang braces? Sa airline na pinagtatrabahuhan ko and dun din sa mga natry kong applyan na airlines, hindi sila tumatanggap ng applicants na may braces. Actually, I think meron namang airlines na during the application process or kung mag apply ka pa lang, nag naman sila na naka-braces ka pa. Pero, kasi when you get there, tatanungin ka din kung kailan mo ipapatanggal or ilan years pa, gano'ng katagal pa na kailangan mong suot yung braces mo. Tatanungin ka din nila if willing ka ba na pag na hair ka, kung willing ka na ipatanggal yung braces. So, I think during the application, yes, pwedeng naka-braces. Although, make sure din na i-check nyo dun sa airline na pag a nyo. Kasi minsan yung iba, hindi sila nag -e entertain ng nakabraces. May airlines na strict sa ganun. So, make sure na bago kayo mag-apply or bago kayo pumunta, i-check nyo muna kung okay ba sa kanila yung ganun. Yung iba naman okay. But, preferably, kung nakabraces ka nga, um, tapos gusto mo mag-flight attendant, better nga na kung mag-apply ka, tanggal na yung braces mo para at least wala ka na ding problem if ever na na ma-hire ka, dire-direction na yung application mo para mabilis din yung bug process. So, yun. Braces, yes, during the application. No, when flying. Another one is retainers. Um, paano ba? I think allowed naman yung retainers but not during the flight. Siguro after, kapag nasa hotel ka na, nasa bahay ka na, pwede mo siyang suotin. But during the flight, I think hindi siya pwede. And kung mag apply ka, huwag mo na lang din suotin during your interview. Next one is veneers. Ang dami nagtatanong nga din ito, kung allowed ba yung veneers. Yes, it's allowed. Ang dami kong nakakalipad or ang dami kong kakilala na naka-veneers. So, ano nga ba yung veneers? Veneers is when, um, I think they put something, a layer over your teeth to enhance your smile. Basically, ano siya, para lang gumanda yung ngipin mo. Yung iba talaga, gusto nila magpa-veneers to make their smile more beautiful, more appealing. So, yun, but it's not required, guys. Okay, so moving on. Next naman is dentures or false teeth. Ang dami guys. Grabe, ang dami nagtatanong nito. Okay, so let's talk about the first type of denture. So, um, one type of denture is the removable denture. So, ito yung, kumbaga, postizo. Katulad ng sa mga lola or lolo natin, yung natatanggal. I think itong kind na to ng denture is not allowed. Especially that we handle food and the aircraft to avoid incidents na din na malaglag yung denture mo kung saan. So, ayun. But, yeah. Removable denture, not allowed. For the other type of denture, which is the fixed denture, um, since hindi naman nga siya natatanggal, nandun lang siya sa loob ng mouth mo. I'm not sure, but I think it's allowed. Check na lang din with the airline na ina-applyan ninyo. Kasi hindi pare-pareho yung standard ng mga airline. Yung iba, pwede sa kanila to. Yung iba, hindi. So, next one is crooked teeth. Allowed or not allowed? I think kung malala yung case mo, siguro better if magpa-brace ka muna or have it fixed first before applying kasi baka maging problem siya. But for mild cases like me, actually, meron na kanya ni. Eh. Pakita ko sa inyo. Ito. 
ayan, medyo ano siya, crooked siya. Pero kasi, when I smile, hindi siya nakikita. So, never siya naging problem sa akin dito sa airline na pinagtatrabahuhan ko. Actually, never. Never ako nasita or anything during the medical. Um, but personally, pina-check ko siya sa dentist ko before. I have the option naman to go for braces. But, kasi since nagtatrabaho na ako as a flight attendant, I feel like hindi na ako pwede mag-braces. And, hindi naman din ako ganun ka-bothered about it and since wala naman nagiging problem so hindi ako na siya na ganyan kung mad lang naman tapos hindi naman siya ganoon ka visible like when you smile i think okay if super halata like in front teeth or talagang hindi na siya aligned i think better that before you apply have it fixed first you don't really need the perfect set of teeth i just have to have a good set of teeth i mean Yung teeth ko hindi naman perfect. Like, see? Actually, medyo maliit nga yung lipin ko eh. But, yeah, as long as hindi naman siya talagang malala, it's gonna be fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Another one is missing tooth. Hindi. Okay. So, I'm just gonna talk about my experience. Wala pa akong nakakalipad na merong missing tooth. I guess, kung hindi naman siya kita, sobrang kita. But, I don't, I'm not really sure eh. I think, depende pa din siya sa airline or sa company na pag a mo. Kasi, yung iba pumapalag, yung iba hindi. But, based from my experience, wala pa ako nakakalipad na merong missing tooth. And last but not the least, uh, madami kasi ako nababasang comment na bakit ko daw pinatanggal yung wisdom tooth ko, ganyan. Actually, nasagot ko na to sa previous vlog ko. I just wanna answer it again since yung topic natin dito is teeth. So, when I applied, um, pinatanggal sa akin yung apat na wisdom tooth ko kasi sabi sa medical, they're impacted. Meaning, hindi lumabas yung nipin ko. Nandun lang sila. Nandun lang yung wisdom tooth ko sa loob. And tendency kasi when we fly, considering the cabin pressure and how frequent I will be flying, magiging masakit siya. So it will be troublesome for me. Maybe hindi right away, hindi agad-agad. But um, dadating yung time, sabi ng dentist, na sasakit siya because of cabin pressure. Since naiipit nga siya doon, nandun lang siya sa loob. So they advised me to have it removed um, before I start training. So yun, I had it removed. And para din, kasi when we start flying, magiging dere-derecha na siya eh. So, um... If ever na dun ko palang ipapatanggal, sayang din yung days na I could be flying. Pero hindi nga kasi I need to heal from the surgery, ganyan. So, ayun, sayang din yung sick leave ko. So, that's the reason behind it. I just wanna share it to you guys. If nag-wonder kayo kung bakit ko nga pinatanggal yung wisdom tooth ko. Very important sa mga flight attendants na merong magandang smile. And para magkaroon ng magandang smile, dapat maganda din ang teeth. Your teeth play a huge impact when applying as a flight attendant kasi ano ba yung unang tinitingnan? ba Yung smiles. So that's it guys. I hope meron kayo natutunan from this vlog. I hope meron kayo nakuha na kahit konting information. Before I end this video, I'd like to announce that I'll be going live on Shopee for the whole month of July. Every Tuesdays to Saturdays at 3pm to 4pm. So I'll be talking about my flight attendant journey, beauty, lifestyle, travel, anything under the sun. So I hope I'll see you guys there. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!